Hello, everybody. I am sorry that I have been MIA. Hold on one second. Okay, I had to clean the camera off. The camera's looking like crap. How much time did I got? Okay, good. Okay, um, I'm sorry they have been MIA lately. Uh, a few things was going, not going down, it was kind of going, that's what it was doing. So, um, I'm going to catch you guys up. Monday, I did do a video. I got my packages in from Squared Hue, and I got two boxes. I got one free one and one uh, of the, the, I guess, the monthly colors they pick out. That's what I'm talking about. I got those. We'll get on with that. We're going to talk about that. I did make the video um, on Halloween. My son was in it, but I have been, my anxiety, or I don't know what to call it, <clears throat> but I was, I've been frustrated, like frustrated. So my son was in the video and he was telling me something and I kind of think maybe I was a little bit too mean to him. So I don't want to put that video up. You know, I didn't want to do that. Um, because I felt kind of bad afterwards. I dwelled on it. I thought about doing it. I'm like, no, because I don't want people thinking I'm a mean mother, which I'm not, you know, I'm not. I, we, him and I have been trick-or-treating since two o'clock, well, three o'clock Illinois time. And we didn't get home until like six o'clock. Joseph's got scared to death because some idiot, which I don't think this is right. Uh, I want I want you guys' opinion on this. I don't know if you know, everybody's heard. Uh, for those of you that are in the United States, I don't know if it's out in Canada or out of the, the my country, but I've heard that people are dressing up as clowns, going to kids' schools, freaking the kids out, uh, walking down the street, picking on, like trying to get kids, scare people, hurt people. I don't know if anybody's heard anything about that. Well, I've had I went with my neighbor, my two neighbors, so I could you know have extra adults with me. It was Joseph's two friends that also went with them. And we had a blast. The only problem we had was, um, oh, let me get back to the thing. After we were, we were done trick-or-treating with them because they were going somewhere else, Joseph and I went trick-or-treating on my stepdad's block, which he's only, what, a block away from my house. Because um, we didn't even hit that street yet. So we went all the way down to the end, and I told Joseph, we're going to do the house on the right-hand side. But we went to this one house, and he had a deck. He had the deck covered with a blanket, a sheet or something, and as you walked up, it said, enter if you dare. Joseph and I looked at each other. We kind of backed up a little bit, and we waited. The guy put the candy in the basket. As we walked off, another dude, or that same dude, jumped out, had a mask on, jumped out, says, hey, get back here. Scared the daylights out of me, scared the daylights out of Joseph. I grabbed Joseph and stuck his butt behind me because if that guy came... Anyone near my kid? I don't care if it's Halloween or not. You don't do that stuff. I'm sorry. With all the stuff that's going on now, you can't do that. Another, I talked to another parent that she would, she passed the house up because of that. Um, she said she was not happy with it, too. She was thinking the same thing. But everybody else around that I talked to thought I was fucking nuts. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. And then there was another lady I walked up to. She didn't scare Joseph. Joseph would get kind of freaked out. She had some kind of, like, red, white, and blue blue costume on with a mask on. I, I don't know what it was. I think it was like Uncle Sam or something. She was jumping out scaring Joseph. And I asked her very nicely, can you please take the mask off? My son is ter scared to death. He already got scared by one guy. Can you please take the mask off? The lady who thought I was stupid. I'm like, I told her, I'm like, I'm protecting my son's feelings. I am a very protective mother. I mean, she just turned around and said, that's okay. And gave my son the candy. I just walked off. Told her thank you and walked off. So, what are you guys' opinion on that? Would you have done the same thing? Would you, would you, uh, freaked out on that on the dude that jumps out of his deck and goes, "Hey, get back here!" I mean, what would you guys think? I mean, it was scary. Anyways, that was Thursday. Uh, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, the rest of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday. If you guys all know, you guys have to know because I Snapchatted it. I don't know. I got no response from nobody. But um, I have been watching the Cubs game. Not watching it. I didn't watch it Tuesday. I tried watching it Wednesday. Couldn't. Yesterday. Um, I just kept on watching Ghost Adventures. I'm like on a Ghost Adventures kick. Don't ask me why. But, well, it was Halloween time. When Halloween comes around, it's like ghosts are like the one that 
I'd rather watch and learn about. I love, I love learning about ghosts. And I believe in ghosts. So if you guys don't, keep your comments to yourself. That's my preference. But no offense. Anyways, so um, they won on Tuesday. And then they won on Wednesday. They won the World Series. So go Cubs. I am so happy. And I'm not a Cubs fan. Here's the thing. I'm not a Cubs fan. But I cried when they won. Because in our state, we need this underneath our belt. Come on. We've already had the Blackhawks. That has happened within a couple years. Now we have the Cubs. Now we need to have the Chicago Bulls. That's what we need. That's my team. And the Blackhawks are. Two, Chicago Bears. Don't even think about Chicago Bears winning. So those of you out there that like the Chicago Bears, hush. Because they're not good, a good team. Sorry. I didn't watch football. But anyways. That was going on for the past couple days. And yesterday, I am like waiting for... I'm thinking, we're thinking about selling our house. I've been waiting for this lady to come. What time is it? Okay, I got time. I've been waiting for this lady to come to come just price her house, find out what questions I got to get rid of this. We need a third bedroom. And secret, Joel doesn't know that this is happening until I can get a decent price. Two, the, we need a third bedroom. The other secret is I can have my own beauty room slash guest room or slash baby room, which I doubt the baby. But still, I can have my own beauty room. Keep your fingers crossed for good stuff. Okay, let's get on with this video because this intro was already long enough. But I had to catch you guys up. Okay, I've already opened the box. I want it to be here. And there, I've already swatched them. What I'm disappointed about is I wish I didn't make the video. I should have waited or I should have put the video. I don't know. There's only one thing I kicked myself in the butt. Because I've already opened the boxes. I've already seen the polishes. And they're gorgeous. Um, let's see. Let's start with what we have. I think this one. These names I'm going to butcher. Okay. This is the square hue box. I am so happy that I have actually got a square hue addition. Not addition. Subscription. Addition. Okay. Now open up the box. Now I'm going to show you this is how it's packaged on the inside. But there was little wormy things in here. I took those out when I opened these up already. And this is the card of the um, what they're doing for this month. And it is the Adventure Collection. And I guess what Square... Okay, I'm going to explain Square Hue. Square Hue is a nail polish um, collect, uh, subscription. What you do is you subscribe to it and they'll send you either a free box, which I they should do that for every person that subscribes. Um, and... They, every month, they, every year they have like a theme they do. And every month they, what they do is they have a certain theme like this month's adventure. Well, this is October. I mean, November. October was adventure. And um, what they do is they pick out three different colors out, out of this as I drop it. Excuse me, bear back. I'm back. <laughs> That's my little cutout. You got to see the chair and yeah, I don't have my cane shirt behind me. I need to put that back up there. My Blackhawk shirt. Um, what they do is they pick out three colors, they email you with the, uh, what they have done, like what they've picked out, or like a guessing picture. Um, and then on the side here they have like three things you can swatch it on, which I don't do that. Then they have like a little story back here on, but I'm not going to read that because we'll be here all night. Let's see here. Let me see. Oh, this Museum Hopes, oh this is Museum Hopes of Paris. Location, Paris, France. Difficulty, easy. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to read this because this is going to be so much. I wish I could sit here and like put a still video in here, like a picture. And I know you guys, if you guys were smart, you guys would pause it and read it, but I can't do that. But this is the adventure collection. Okay. Three polishes, and this is what they look like when they come in. I'll show you. Oh, I was hope knew that was gonna happen. I'm like, I hope none of these fall out. Give me a second. Try pushing them back in here. All right, so I can hold the box up at least. That's what they look like. Square hue. Okay, we're gonna start with this first one. Now, if I butcher these, I am sorry, but I will put the names in the description box below. This first one is called. 
Lover. Lover. I think it's like lover in English. Lover in English. But it's Lover. I'll show you the name here. I hope you can see that. Focus. Probably can't see that. But that's what this looks like. And the swatch for that is right here. Wait, is this the right one? Yeah. This one dries matte. It's a very pretty color. This was actually two coats. This was very, very pretty. But this is Lover. I had better lighting. Should sit over there by the window. Okay. The next one, so we're going to go to this one here. Go to this one. We, we did this. This is Lover. This is the next one. This one's pretty. If I can get it out. I pushed them in there pretty good. Okay, the next one is um, D or say, D or say, is D or say. This is D or say. This I think was two coats. I might be wrong because I don't. I can't remember. My brain has been so occupied with the Cubs game and everything else that's been going on. But this is so pretty. I cannot wait to wear square hue. But I have to because I'm still on China Glaze. Okay. Now we're going to go to this one here. This one right here. My finger's pointing to. I know I look like, I'll explain to you why I look like I have three different colors, like six different colors in each hand. I'll explain. You guys probably can figure out why. Okay, uh, this is Pompidou. Pompidou. This is, oh my god, this thing is so this thing is so pretty. That's what it looks like. Can you guys see that? Look at that. I have lights on, but I don't seem to do anything. Oh my God, see that? So pretty. This was three coats. I think this is like a jelly. No, I think this was two coats. I'm not real sure. Two or three, we'll say. Two or three. It depends on how you apply it. If you apply it thin, it will be three. If you apply, I applied this thick, so it was two. So I'll say two to three coats, but this thing, look at this. I mean, seriously, let me bring this thing closer. Look at this. Oh my God, it is like a, I don't know what color, to me it looks blue, but it has a very fine, fine, fine glitter. Very fine glitter. I can remember my things right here. Very fine glitter. And it, it reminds me of Dream. That's what kind of consistency it gives it to. But I think this is, I'm not sure if this is a jelly or a crelly, which I still don't understand the difference between a jelly and crelly. I know I've had people explain it to me, but I just, I, I don't understand the difference. I really don't. Now what I would like to do is figure out how I would be able to store these because I want to kind of keep it in the box and keep them like this. But I think it kind of get bulky if I have it like boxes, boxes like that. I don't know. We'll just figure it out later. Okay, let me get to the next box. Now the next box is this here. Oh, I got the card back in here. Let me put the card back in here. I can't get it open. Ugh. I hope no one's calling me. I got my phone on airplane mode. I do. You guys know next month I'm going to be on YouTube for two years. I don't know if I'm going to do a giveaway this year because I got packages I do got to send out and money is like kind of tight right now. Oh yeah, I got another thing to tell you. Let me tell you this right now before I open the second box. The reason why I'm wearing six different colors on my nails is because I need to make a dent in China Glaze. Now I'm going to make a video of, because what I did was, let me show you guys. This is my box. Bag. That after I'm done with polishes, I put them in here. Now this bag... I'm going to try not to knock it. It's pretty full. So I'm going to do a video of what I've already wore so far. Then I'm going to still keep going. I'm going to take this off today. So if you guys see on my Instagram and Facebook and uh, my love for polish group, you'll see I took like billions of pictures yesterday because I was I forgot to put up my two Halloween manicures and I put up the polishes I did today. So look for, I'm trying to make a dent into my China Glaze, which... I kind of did. I would say maybe I did a uh, shelf and a half, which I don't know how, but I think because I want to, you know, get through all of these. Um, another question for you guys. One more thing. If it's okay, 
if you guys, if you guys don't answer this question, it's fine. But if it's okay, um, there's two polishes in China Glaze I'm not gonna wear, and everybody's gotta know what this Fairy Dust and Enchanted, uh, what's it called? Enchanted Golden Enchantment, I think. Those two, I might wear those two on top of something, but everybody knows about those, and I can give you high reviews about them now. That's the only two I don't think I'm going to wear. But I might wear them on top so if I get bored with the polishes that I'm wearing. But I'm not because all the polishes I'm wearing, they're very interesting even without this, without them. Um, so you look forward to this video. Please look forward to this video. Another thing that um, I want to talk about is we will be getting new phones Saturday. Um, we have to get rid of our AT&T uh, surface because they are expensive oh good's only gone 15 minutes Whew. um they are expensive hold on that's why i'm kind of talking i we didn't really sleep we went to bed late last night and uh sorry here i'm trying to keep myself up all night all day instead of you know laying down and crashing and then being up all night because tomorrow if i hopefully this will happen um, that I can go to the Cubs, uh, parade tomorrow. Cause I would like to go to that. Um, but I gotta see if my uncle will be able to pick up my son from school. I just hope so. But, um, anyways, we're gonna get new phones. So I'm gonna try to make three videos and try to put them up. Uh, one today, this one's gonna be up today. I have my empties for tomorrow and Saturday. We're going Saturday. I'm gonna try to put up my China glaze, but I really don't want to make the video. I might wait. So, and the phones will probably be better than this one. I hope so. Hope I can get better lighting with that phone. I'm gonna see, find out. We'll find out what happens. Let's get on with this video. Okay, this one here, they sent me the 2000, last year they did, which I wish I was in Square Hue at that time. I really do, because I really did like this idea. They had, this was the, um, the Decades Collection. If you guys remember the Decades Collection, they gave me 1115. So that was 2000. This was back in 2000. So the names of these are from the 2000s. But that's what the card looks like. I really miss... I wish I signed up for this. But I'm, I'm going to read the back of this to you. Because it's not... See how much the paragraph is? It's not that long. If I can stop dropping stuff. Be right back. You guys are just going to laugh at me at this. Okay, let's flip it up. Okay, let's see here. I once heard it, sa it said, can I read? I once heard it said, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Well, this is decade sure felt like we'd need it. Some of Remain, reminding, my God, I cannot read. And Hurricane, oh, Hurricane Katrina leveled New Orleans unlike anything we've ever seen before. Yet for every dark rain-filled cloud, there is a silver lining. In the midst of these Tragedies, the girls and I watched as America Idol premiered as the surprise TV hit that show, showcased ordinary people with incredible talents. Through the decade, started with a painful Central, if I said that word right, that we will never forget. It sure has ended on a sparkling note. I hope I didn't sound like shit when I read that. I hate reading out loud because, like, I can't read it good like everybody else would. Now, if it was to myself, I could read perfectly. So, for all those out you, you haters out there that comment some, because one person commented on my reading, oh, you need to go back to Skillo. Well, that kid needs to go, that person needs to go to, uh, um, manners. 
That's what they need to do. Sorry, I have a hard time reading. I have a hard time seeing. And like I always say, if you guys have harsh comments, people will get reported. I'm sorry. I'm just saying stuff out there because I don't want to get hit here. Oh, but I might now. Okay, this first... Oh, oh wait, wait. I gotta show you guys the box, don't I? See, I'm not doing this video good. And I'm not doing retakes. Okay, this is what it looks like. We're gonna start from right here. Okay, I gotta push this guy out. It is, ah, come on. Okay, this first one is a metallic and it is called Hurricane. Yep, Hurricane. Let's see, where's my Hurricane? Here we go. This one was three coats. That's what it looks like. It's a metallic. This was three coats for sure. But I like I love the brush. I'll show you guys the brush of on Hurricane. But this is the same as all the square hue brushes. That's what the brush looks like. And I love the shape of the bottle. The packaging is ugh. I love I, I'm in love with square hue. I'm actually in love with square hue. Okay, we're gonna go with this one next. This middle one here. This one, I saw this one. This is the second one I almost died for. This one is called Idol. I mean, look at that beauty. You see those things shimmering? This is more like a top coat. But I put three coats on the swatch stick to kind of get it opaque. You, I think you can wear this by itself. Well, you can get this opaque if you want to. That's my dryer. Hopefully the clothes are dry. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at that. Oh. And it does it, it, it does dry kind of rough, so you do need a good top coat. Oh, wait, come here. Okay, one more. And it's the last one. And it is this one here. And there's another metallic. Which I think is just a basic silver. It's another it's another metallic, and this is a silver, and this is called Never Forget. And that's what it looks like. This was also, this was actually two coats. It didn't, it dried very nicely. It wasn't streaky. It wasn't patchy. This was actually a very good, um, silver. This was on, because if you guys know, I have two China Glaze silvers. One is Icicle and the other one is uh, I Melt For You. This applies a lot better. Square Hue has a little bit better um, formula with this. I think so. Okay, I'm going to end this video, and I am sorry that it took too long, but I had to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, you guys will see me tomorrow again with my empties video. So, I'll see you guys later.